Welcome back to my channel, Lovely. So today's video is going to be a review and swatches on the Lustrous Lip Gloss Set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is what it looks like. I've actually been delayed on this because I've had this over a month. And just recently, I've been seeing so many people upload pictures of it and them getting, like, mailed it, the set or whatever. And so it's like, everybody's talking about it now. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and talk about it since a lot of people are more familiar with it now. And so it's eight lip glosses and um, it retails for about $40 on the Anastasia Beverly Hills site. It is not sold in stores, so you can only purchase this online. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna, so basically it has this little like tabby thing that you pull it out of. I have worn um, three of these lip glosses so far. So seeing them um, in person, actually on the website, I thought they were all gonna be kind of shimmery. But seeing them, bleh, seeing them in person, um, there is three that are no pig, like no glitter. It's just one color. Um, the other ones are, you know, glittery or whatever. So yeah, and I'll get a close up of that if you can see it. So the first one is this gold um, lip gloss. Well, it looks gold to me, so that's what it looks like. And this one is called Gilded. So I'm gonna swatch that on my hand. So that's Gilded. So like I said, it kind of has like a gold, bronzy look to it. Um, putting this on, I feel like you need to wear this over Actually, this is one of the ones that I've worn already. So I feel like with this one, you need to wear it over a kind of nude lipstick or something of that sort. Um, I mean, it still looks pretty by itself. Um, even with like just a nude lip liner, I feel like it'd look pretty. But me personally, I like to have something nude underneath it. And then that way it stands out a little bit more. I really like this one. This one was my favorite one out of all of them. I used to, I was wearing this one a lot when I first got this. And then the second one is actually the one that I have on my lips right now. It's called Dainty. Dainty? Dainty. And I love this one. This one is not, this is one of the ones that are, it's just one color. It's not, doesn't have any shimmers in it or whatever. So this is Dainty. That's what it looks like. The other one is called Sunset Strip, which I have not worn yet. Um, it has kind of like a peachy um, color to it, um, but putting it on or swatching it on my hand, it's not, it doesn't have real much color to it. It just kind of has like a peach, really light peach color to it, and then it has a shimmers in it. So that is what that looks like. So like I said, some of these I feel like you need to have something underneath it, especially like this one since it's not as pigmented as the other ones. I um, and then the other one is Metallic Rose. I've already worn this one too. I really like this one. This one's pigmented. This one you could wear by itself. You don't need to wear anything underneath it. But then again, that's just my opinion. I, you can wear them by themselves, obviously, but I just feel like it looked prettier with something underneath it. So as you can see, the Sunset Strip is the one that doesn't have as much pigment to it, um, and that is the Metallic Rose. Really pretty, like purpley almost color. And then the other one is Weekend Barbie. This is just like a really bright pink color. I have not worn this one, but it looks like a fun color to wear. So that is Weekend Barbie. And I feel like these last 
a little bit longer. I mean, lip glosses tend to kind of fade, but I feel like these kind of stick on a little bit more and you can wear them longer. You don't have to keep applying and applying. But I mean, it is it is lip gloss, so at one point or another, there it's going to fade. So I'm not saying it stays on forever. I'm just saying it's a little bit better than most lip glosses that I've worn before. Um, this one is called Date Night. I wear this on a date night. <laughs> and... This one's kind of, I want to say, red with like shimmery golds. Is this what it looks like? And I feel like wearing a lipstick underneath a lip gloss kind of makes it last a little bit longer. So, like I said, this is just my opinion. And then this one is called social light social light i think and this is just a red really pretty that's what it looks like And then this one was also one of my favorites. This is the last one. This one is called Black Cherry. And this is just kind of like a vampy, purpley lip gloss, which I really liked. That is what that one looks like. So yeah, that is all of them on my hand. I love the pigmentation of these lip glosses. It's really pretty. I like the colors. Um, I love all of them except that sunset strip, you know, I feel like you need to wear something underneath it. But um, yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. Really pretty colors, um, 40 bucks. Um, I think the lip glosses by themselves are 12 or 14 so you're getting a good deal I think it's worth it um there are different colors but those don't come in sets those come individually so yeah if you're a lip gloss girl I know I wasn't until like probably a couple months ago that I got into lip glosses but like I love this set I can't wait to wear the rest of the colors but I mean honestly for me it's like if you do not like lip glosses that are shimmery like then don't get this set because a lot of the colors are shimmery. Um, there's only three actual like just normal colors like I said. But other than that, it's a really good set and um, this is not sponsored or anything. I bought this with my own money. So yeah, other than that, I don't have any other thing else to say. The link to the website and this set will be in the bottom link below and i hope you guys found this review helpful i hope you guys liked it um big thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time